Hello and welcome back to another session. In today's session, let's discuss about Bastion Host and how to create it. Bastion Host is just another virtual machine or server. It's given a special name because of the way we use that server. Based on cloud security based practices, it's always recommended to put all your app servers in a private subnet and thereby disabling any access from internet into your servers. However, by doing this, you are making the server super secure that even you will lose access to the server. And as an admin, you should be able to access the servers by some means in order to perform operations or installations in the server. So this is where Bastion Host comes into picture. So you create a server in a public subnet and allow SSH access to that server from your local. Then once you SSH into the Bastion host, you can access the server in the private subnet from the Bastion host. So let's get into the console and see how to set this up in AWS. Okay, so we are in the AWS console now. First, let's start by creating a VPC. I'm not using the default VPC because in most of your use cases, you're going to start doing things from the scratch by provisioning your own VPC. So let's do it that way. I'm going to name our VPC and then choose a random CIDR block and leave other settings default and create the VPC. The next step is to create two subnets within the VPC. So selecting the VPC ID which we just created and we are going to name one subnet as a public subnet where we are going to put our bastion host. Again choose a random CIDR block and we are going to create the next subnet and call it as private subnet where we are going to put in our app server. So this is also going to have a random CIDR block. So once we have the two subnets, we are going to update the property of the public subnet. We are going to enable assigning IP address so that whenever we create a new instance within that public subnet, it will by default come with a public IP. So if you don't enable that setting, then your uh, instances which are being launched will not have a public subnet. Okay, the next step, we are creating an internet gateway. And you have to attach this internet gateway into the VPC. So you can do that by updating the route table of the VPC. So you have to add a new route which points to the which points the internet traffic through the internet gateway. So basically you will point the ORO ORO to internet gateway. So by this way your internet uh, connection will be enabled for your VPC and this will be applicable only for public subnets. Uh, basically the VMs which has a public IP or an elastic IP attached to it. Okay, so we have the basic setting now, that is a VPC under which we have two subnets, public and a private, and then an internet gateway which is attached to the VPC. So the next step is to create our instances. So first we are going to create the uh, bastion host. I'm going to choose the free tier option and choose the VPC and it's going to be public subnet because we want to put our bastion host in the public subnet and uh, leave the volume options as default we would name it as bastion just for our convenience and then security group is very important we are going to open port 22 but we are going to narrow it down with to just our specific IP address. So there is an option in source called as my IP so that you will be able to access the bastion host only from your system. So this is important. You shouldn't be anytime opening the SSH access to the world that is ORO. ORO. It's always important to narrow it down uh, to your specific IP address or your specific intranet. And I'm acknowledging that I have access to the key pair and launching the instance. Okay, so when this is getting launched, let's go ahead and create the app server. 
So the app server is going to be put within the private subnet. And as we are creating the app server within the private subnet, this is not going to have a public IP. And more or less the settings are going to be the same except that the security group will be a bit different because in the bastion host we allowed the security group access from our uh, local IP. But in case of app server, we are going to allow it from the bastion host. So we are adding a tag, uh, again a name tag just for our convenience with an app server as a name so that we can differentiate between both the servers. So in the security group, again it's SSH and you're going to open it for just the bastion host. So first let's modify the uh, security group name. Let's call it as private. And then there is an option to select the security group as a source. So this is, we are selecting the bastion host security group so that whatever VM is put in within the particular security group will have access, uh, SSH access into a private server. So that is the safest way to do uh, because selecting the public IP uh, might be a problem in some cases if you don't assign an elastic IP because if you stop and start the bastion host then your public IP will change. Okay, so now everything is set up. Let's copy the public IP and go to your terminal. Okay, so I'm in the terminal. You can use the SSH client of your preference. So there are only three steps. The first step is to set the permissions for the key file. I'm setting it to 400 by using chmod. So it allows only the read permission. And the next step is to add the key file to the SSH store, which can be done by using SSH add and the path to the key file. And the third step is to actually SSH into the bastion host. So that can be done by using SSH hyphen hey, which stands for agent forwarding, which is for forwarding your key file and hyphen hi, and then specify your key file name. Then you have to specify the username of the VM. It can be Ubuntu or in this case, it is easy to user than the public IP. So by specifying that command, you have logged in into the bastion host. And the next thing which we are going to do is log in into the private VM itself, which we have done now, which is SSH. And then again, the username and just the private IP. So it's that simple. We are finally logged into your private VM using a bastion host. There is one more thing which I want to highlight. If you are trying to access the internet like I'm trying to do now, it's not possible from the private VM because it doesn't have a public IP as I already told. But you can access internet from the bastion host itself, which we'll see in a minute. So how to enable internet access from the private uh, private VM is going to be our next session. So hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. See you soon in the next video.